10 Countries That Are Impossible to Conquer Iran You know you are a difficult country to handle when you are called Fortress Iran. Turkey, US, Saudi Arabia they all came to dismantle it, but Iran never gave them an inch. Half a million soldiers, 137 aircrafts, 1658 tanks they are always battle ready. And at to it the difficult terrain of Iran, the conquest seems even more difficult. Australia Australia is 11,000 kilometers away from any nearest military power nation, Japan. Australia has a floating desert in the middle of nowhere, which leaves its soldiers to hide in and conduct guerrilla raids from. Fun fact, Japan did actually plan to launch a counter on Australia but it abandoned its plan for the same reasons. Russia Neither Napoleon nor Hitler could invade Russia, if two most powerful rulers couldn't get it, then imagine how hard it is to invade Russia. Largest country in the world by size, its geography is definitely its biggest USP, and most of which is covered with snow or surrounded by mountains. Russia currently is a military superpower, as well having a contingent of 845,000 active personnel willing to take on anyone and everyone. North Korea A country defined by its leadership, a nation known by its ruler Kim Jong-un, it is another country which isn't easy meet by any means. Million active soldiers, 4,200 tanks, 222 battle helicopters, it is one of the biggest military assembles. Its aggressiveness keeps all other superpowers on tenterhooks and an escalation is something which keeps everyone on their toes. Bhutan. This one is surely a surprise. Located in the Himalayas, having an army of only 6,000 with no air force or artillery. But, Bhutan belongs to that small bunch which has never been invaded. Primarily owing to its difficult terrain. Located at 3,000 meters above sea level, the country is capable of causing altitude sickness. Israel. This nation's belief is simple when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. In its brief history of 69 years, it has fought 8 battles but has not even lost a single battle. A country where military service is mandatory, a country which has the best defense system in the world, there is nothing which makes it susceptible. Canada Canada just as cold as Russia, while by area its size is next only to Russia, given its size and vast expanses of wilderness, invading Canada by force can pose problems for anyone. To add insult to injury, defense budget of Canada is a whopping $21.6 billion, so its military rank of 25 in the world doesn't cut much ice. Don't go by their polite nature, they would readily get even to play tough with you. A highly skilled army of 95,000 soldiers, Canada is a hard nut to crack. Switzerland National Redoubt, Switzerland, is a defensive plan adopted by the country which uses the Alps as a roadblock to any invasion. The Swiss military has not only built tunnels, bunkers and fortresses inside the mountains it has also wired the entire mountains and infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, to blow up in case of any invasion. This will cause the invading party to waste time and energy in finding proper entry routes into the country. Even though Switzerland has about 150,000 active military personnel, if the nation gets invaded almost 4 million citizens are immediately available for military service with another 3 million fit for service as well. Basically, in a heartbeat, the nation gets all of its able-bodied citizens ready to pick a fight with the invaders. Japan one of the few civilizations which has never been enslaved throughout its history which speaks volumes about the country's tenacity. Hiroshima, Nagasaki did take away some sheen of the country but even then their eyes back to success has been stupendous. Quarter million soldiers, 600 tanks, 
$40 billion investment, Japan is a force with whom not many would want to play. USA You make a list of most difficult countries to invade, so naturally it had to have the USA in it right? $596 billion investment in, which is more than the combined might of next seven high-spending nations. This economic power coupled with the country's scale renders any talk of invading it meaningless.